It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of SUTD News. I'm your host for today, Rindia. And as the year comes to an end, another school term finally ends as well. It's been a long, long term. But before we end off this term, let's tune in to the lives of one of our students in SUTD thus far. Reporting to us on the ground is our exclusive host for today, Jingle Bell. Jingle Bell, on to you. Alright, this is Jingle Bell reporting from SUTD Live. And without further ado, let's quickly go and find our student of the hour, Jing Kai, and see how his term tree has been like exactly. Let's go! Ooh. What is that? Is that a portal? Where would it lead me? Let's go! You are getting transported through time to see what Term 3 felt like. Please wait. Hair hair. Ah, uh, help me, please. And with that, the 2023 season comes to an end. Good night. After a long four months of holidays, it was finally time for a new term to start. But before the term starts, a few of us had a short trip to Philippines, and it was honestly a really enjoyable trip. After those beautiful 10 days, it was time to get back with all of us ready for Term 3 to start. The first thing to do in Term 3 was orientation. It was 3 full days of pure activities and socialising. But as an OGL, I had a blast with the best OG I could have ever asked for. These were some of those highlights that we shared in those past 3 days. So what's up everybody? We are here at orientation. Who the hell did you and this is OG5, day one. And we are playing broken telephone. And I wanna go out with you. Where you wanna go? Find the spot, just sit and talk, looking pretty. Follow me. Booty to the dad and he booty in the knee. Cut your game, in a dream. When you say I'm a dream. The school term then officially began. The heavy schoolwork kicked in and there were so many things to do. Out of the many academic highlights, perhaps the most memorable would be when my team achieved first runner-up for the MIT 15K competition. Despite those sleepless nights that we had, we had a lot of fun and time together. But to win was something even more memorable for me. Now, you might be thinking, Is Term 3 gonna be all about studying? Boring! Hey, just wait a little. I'm getting to the fun part. This term, I wanted to try something new. So, I decided to join DDZ, SUTD's Hip Hop Dance Club, yo! And honestly, that was fun! Oh, it's so sexy, y'all! Uh. I don't know Yeah, 
Afterwards, I kinda started dancing more consistently. As a newbie, the dance sessions were not always easy. Sometimes, it was quite hard to catch up with the dance pace, but I managed to pull through by going more consistently. And there were also supper sessions to look forward to. These were like icing to the cake. Something that made me look forward to Wednesdays and Fridays a lot more. Oh, and did I mention, this term, I also had the opportunity to interview three really inspiring batchmates. The first one was Jung Yi, a national swimmer and gold medalist at this year's edition of the SEA Games. TLDR, he shared with me about his swimming ventures and his journey to the gold medal. My biggest takeaway from him would be his commitment to his craft and how he manages stress in the moment, to cope with the intense rigor of the competition and to finally win it. Now, a few weeks later, I got to spend a day with the SUTD mountaineering team, who had spent a week summiting Mount SUTD, a mountain located in India. In the short time we had, they shared with me about their difficult journey up and down the mountain. I definitely didn't know that climbing was gonna be so tough. <laughs> I think if you asked like anybody on the team, Shaga, like that's what they'd yeah. say Shaga. for sure. Yeah. Other than that, there were so many more things that happened in Term 3. Here is a montage of more of those significant moments that happened this term. Sometimes I believe at times I'm wishing no I can fly high, I can go low Today I got a million, tomorrow I don't know Decisions as I go to anywhere I flow Sometimes I believe at times I'm wishing no I can fly high, I can go low Today I got a million, tomorrow I don't know Guys, welcome to today's 3 dc meeting. Pan the camera. <laughs> After all these fun days, eventually the exam periods came around. Around week 11, we had our final group projects for all subjects where we literally stayed up till dawn to get all of them done. It was all worth it in the end as we were able to see the fruits of our labour in our final products. We got so busy in all of the projects and exams that eventually week 14 came around and that meant the final exams were here as well. Alright, so today is Thursday, week 14 and it's time for the math exam. It's about 1pm right now. But that means that after this, it'll be our, there's only one paper to go and then there'll be spatial design. That's not too bad. Let's get this. Nah, let's go. I can fly high. I can go low. Today I got a million. Then oh, comes going back. DDW. <laughs> if I were to describe the past term with one word, it would be adventure. I definitely went out of my way to try new things this term, and in return, definitely gained a whole lot of new experiences. Obviously, the academic rigor remained, but these side quests definitely made up the bulk of my memories this term. With that, an eventful 2023 finally ends, and I am excited what 2024 has in store for me. See all of you in my next video next year.
doing here? Oh? Oh?